Hey everyone, a short video about Swiss gold. Now, as you know, I've been putting a little bit of silver to one side. Um, you know, this is part of a retirement plan for me. Uh, nobody's going to look after me, I don't think, when I'm older, so I have to do that for myself. Um, silver, gold, um, stocks and shares, uh, uh, knowledge, books, learning, all of these things are important. Um, don't put all your eggs into one basket. Bearing in mind I can't give financial advice. Um, all of this stuff I do for entertainment only. Um, but please, when you're investing, first of all, start with investing in yourself. Um, you know... But educate yourself, learn a language, do something to improve yourself first. Next step I would do is put a, a couple of months uh, money by just in case you have a break in like I did recently. And I'd already put a little bit of money to one side so I could use that to replace the items that I had stolen. Um, it, also, if you have an accident, you can't work for a while, um, something goes wrong with the car or your motorbike or whatever it is that you're using, you know, you have a little bit of money put by um, to save you if something goes wrong. And then if you have money left over, then you can think about investing in something. Um, stocks and shares I don't know that much about. I know there are a few safe things and there are lots and lots of dangerous things. Um, obviously more return on the dangerous things. But I wanted to go through a little bit about gold today. Now, you know, I... I have kilo bars of silver. Now, what is a kilo bar of silver really worth? Well, if it comes to a point where silver suddenly goes up in value and then there's hyperinflation, money isn't really worth anything anymore. Can you really go down to a, your local shop and buy a loaf of bread with a kilo of, of silver? Probably not, because they're not going to be able to, to give you any change back for that. So it's good to have small stackable coins in terms of silver as well as having kilo bars. Um, and in terms of gold, it's good to have these little one gram bars. And I have different types of one gram bars. These are all Swiss. It's Swiss one gram fine gold. They all have the certificate attached to them. The only one, although I bought it from the same place as I bought these from, from a dealer, the only one that didn't come with a certificate is this one, which is five grams from the Cantonal Bank, which is 999.9 .9 gold. Now, as far as I'm aware, that's genuine, but it's a shame it didn't come in one of these nice packages like the one gram bars did. And I also picked up two Swiss coins. Now, I'm not entirely sure of the percentage of gold in these. I will have to look that up. But I think these are pretty pure also. And this is a 20 franc gold coin. I mean, it's worth a lot more than 20 francs. So this is also something you you wouldn't want to use it as face value. And I think the the date on that, hang on, is in 1922. So this was made in 1922. It's a beautiful coin. And this one is a smaller version of the same coin. So it's a 10 franc rather than a 20 franc and that's is that 1913 so that's over a hundred years old that coin yeah that's very cool so it's probably worth something in terms of uh, numismatic it's worth something as a gold coin but it also has the value of um, the actual weight of gold that's in it I'm not sure of the comparisons um, between a, like a five gram and one of these coins. Um, I can, of course, look that up. Um, but yeah, I'm spreading my bets, hedging my bets, so to say. I'm um, 
trying to get hold of different things for later on. Um, and I will also invest in other things like uh, I already have survival equipment, um, knowledge in terms of what to do if things go wrong, basic first aid, um, all of this stuff I think is important. If the system does go, um, you know, you take away something like the Chinese have been threatening and other countries or supposedly threatening, whether they actually have or not, um, is debatable to do a blackout in terms of the internet and um, taking down a huge things of electricity, you know, the hospitals won't work and nothing's going to function properly. Uh, what happens then? Well, fuel doesn't get to petrol stations, people can't get to work, um, food doesn't get to stores and panic sets in very quickly if something like that happens. But are you going to, again, same question, are you really going to go down to your local store with even a small amount of gold? Because if somebody sees you with a small amount of gold, they're going to assume that you have more, uh, very likely follow you home. So these things, although I'm I'm picking these up in case of, of the system continuing and might be worth something in terms of retirement, I'm not sure exactly how useful they will be when things go very wrong. Well, I mean, it's just a little bit of information for you to think about um, any questions, any comments that you have, please let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, is this a good idea? Um, should other people be, be doing this just in case? What, what are you doing? What are you investing in? What are you doing for yourself? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for keeping an eye on my channel and I will be back with you soon.